Hey guys, Justin from Out of the Basement here today, and I know it's been a super long time since I've made any videos or been in any videos. I've been a little busy getting this, guys. I finally graduated college, finally get my diploma. I did it. I did it. I finally did it. And that is why I've been absent from plenty of videos. You know, shout out to Nate and Bucky for holding down the fort. This has been one of the toughest semesters of them all. So thank you to you guys for just continuing to keep the channel alive in my absence. But I did it, guys. I did it. I'm super excited about it. Today, of course, I'm going to be doing another episode of my Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch action figure updates. The rules, of course, if you haven't been keeping up with these updates, is that pretty much I just show off all of the figures that I bought in between the last episode and then this one. We do have either reviews or vlogs where we find these figures for most of these figures in my update, and any links for any of those types of videos will be found in the description below, of course. Starting off my list is General Veers, who is a fantastic figure with photoreal printing technology. Comes with the removable little plate thing, chest armor piece, and of course his helmet. And he comes with the regular hat. This is a great figure. I love that they keep on releasing these Imperial officers. We do have a review of this guy up on our channel, so go ahead and watch that video. My second figure is something I'm a little lukewarm about. I gave it a positive review in my video, but now that I've seen the Hoth Leia in person, I kind of regret buying this Bespin Escape Leia, who again uses the photoreal face printing technology. It's definitely the best Leia figure I have in my collection. That's only because of the photoreal printing technology. All the other figures just have the kind of bad head sculpts. But uh, this figure does have some really bad paint up of the Hasbro, China, and then a serial number right on the leg. And it's a white figure and they painted it with like shiny chrome silver paint. And while the head sculpt is great, it's it's just a white jumpsuit. And now that I've seen the Hoth Leia, I, I almost picked it up, but I was like, I already have the Bespin one. So I'll probably pick up the Hoth Leia if it ever goes on sale or any kind of a discount. But yeah, if you're out there in the wild and you find the Hoth Leia, definitely buy the Hoth Leia over the Bespin Leia. It's a little too plain. The other one comes with a little more accessories and it's just a little more iconic because it comes with her Hoth jacket and the hairstyle is a little more iconic in the Hoth Leia as well. My third pickup is actually a birthday present from Nate and that is Sabine Wren. Great figure, great figure. I've been waiting to get a Sabine, but it's always been just not for the right price lately. However, lately it did go on sale, I think on Big Bad Toy Store, and that is where Nate got it. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store, you guys are always coming in clutch. Thank you for being a thing. But this figure does have a removable helmet, and I've been trying to complete the ghost crew. I have, let me look at my shelf over there. I have Kane and Hera, and I have Sabine. And Ezra is confirmed coming out, and we do not have a confirmation on the cat guy. What is his name? Zeb. Zeb is his name. We do not have a confirmation for Zeb yet, but I'm sure that is coming in the near future. My fourth pickup is an absolute banger. Definitely going to make our top 10 Black Series of 2018 list, and that is Zuckus. This guy is just absolutely great. He has double jointed elbows. He is one of the bounty hunters. We've been trying to complete that bounty hunter lineup and now every single bounty hunter from Empire Strikes Back is released. And this guy is amazing. I do not think we have a review of him up, up on our channel and we probably won't cause it's been out for a while, but I would definitely recommend. There's so much great paint detail. There's a good mixture of plastic and soft goods and hard goods. There's a good balance there and it has a great head and great detail of paint and everything. It's an amazing figure and I highly recommend picking this one up from Disney Store. Last time I was at the Disney Store they had a bunch of these guys. It looked like they were trying to get rid of them because of course this was supposed to be a Toys R Us exclusive. Rest in peace. My fifth figure that I picked up is also a figure from the Disney Store and that is this battle damaged Stormtrooper that also comes with the blast effects. It comes with the one that goes on his gun there and then it also comes with these like explosion, grenade, fiery explosion effects and 
They are hollow on the inside, so uh, they fit perfectly on whatever surface that you're trying to put them on. I haven't posted them around or got them in, into any crazy dioramas yet, but the paint on this Battle Damage Stormtrooper is way better than the paint that is found on the Battle Damage Stormtrooper in that Amazon 4-pack. Miles better. For an extra, I believe it was an extra $10.00. It was either 5 or 10, but whatever it was, I think it's well worth it just because the blast effect on the blaster is so cool to have. Even though in the movies they don't really have, like, a muzzle flash like that. It's just, you know, red laser, but whatever, it still looks cool. My next pickup is something that I got from Walmart, because Walmart has been getting the new waves lately, and that is uh, Han Solo, the Bespin Han Solo. I did do a review of this figure on the channel. It's one of my more recent videos that I made because I haven't been making any, but this is a really, really good figure. The paint and the detail on this guy are pretty amazing. The weapon storage does work. The accessory, which is his DDLSR, whatever blaster, DL44, some kind of pistol blast, you know, Han Solo's blaster. The blaster that it comes with is awesome. They added nice brown on the handle. And of course, this does use the photo reel uh, face printing technology. Definitely recommend this figure. Go ahead and check out the review. Side note, side note, I forgot to mention that the Disney Store Battle Damage Stormtrooper comes with a base. And the final figure in this episode is a plain and kind of boring figure, but an absolute essential figure. And that is the Rebel Trooper. Might have to take off the helmet to get the zoom in on that photo reel. There we go. The photo reel uh, tech face printing technology looks amazing on this guy. The outfit on this guy looks absolutely amazing. I love the dish bowl helmet that they use. And it comes with the, you know, the pistol blaster that they use at the beginning of the movie. And there's not a lot of detail or any crazy paint apps, but. That's why I kind of said it's just a plain figure, but is it, it is an absolute essential figure. I've been waiting for this one for so long. I found this one at Walmart again because Walmarts in my area seem to be getting these new waves lately. So shout out to Walmart. Meyer is as barren as the Sahara Desert and it's not looking too good for Meyer or Target. Anyway, guys, that has been my new Black Series 6 inch. Anyway guys, that has been my new Black Series 6 inch action figure update. Comment down below if you have picked up any of the ones that I've picked up or you know, which ones have you picked up? Did you pick up different ones from mine? What has been your favorite one in the update, etc, etc. Just comment down below because we like the engagement. We like to engage with you guys. Now that I've graduated school, I am totally back on board to making videos all the time. Uh, while I balance that with, you know, working on finding a big boy job. But I did notice in the comments a lot of you guys are looking for us to make a return to figure it out. I mean, we never stop doing figure it out. We have tons of plans for future episodes. I have a plan. I have a plan listed out in the notes of my phone here. So, uh, some future plans that we have for figure it out would be a 2019 Black Series wish list because we recently, a few months ago, we made a wish list and then I swear, like, almost all of the figures in our wish list were announced during the SDCC 2018. So, we scrapped that video, but we are going to make an updated version for 2019. We are going to do the top five Black Series of 2018, which is going to be such a hard list because. 2018 has honestly been the turnaround year for the Black Series. I am totally back on board with the Black Series. They've been just releasing banger after banger. They finished off the bounty hunters here. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. We are going to do a top five worst Black Series of 2018. And we had this idea to flip flop uh, episodes of Figure It Out. One episode would be the five most wanted Black Series figures from each episode of Star Wars. So one episode would be episode one, episode two, three, four, five, six, you know, seven, eight, maybe, I, I don't know. And then we'll also probably do an episode on top five figures we would want from the Clone Wars. But I plan to, we plan to rotate that out with subscriber suggested ideas so if you have if you guys have any ideas on episodes of figure it out please comment them below i kind of enjoy doing the ones that subscribers request more because like we're fulfilling your needs 
So again, if you guys have any ideas for figure it out episodes, whatever it is, we don't care how crazy or stupid you might think it is, I mean, we might do it. So comment down below, uh, leave a comment anyway, comment anything on your mind. Go ahead and give this video a like, consider subscribing, show your friends. Anyway guys, I've been Justin from Out of the Basement, we'll see you guys later.